previously on The Adventures of Waffles. And now we're definitely ready to go clear our way toward Bone Mass. So let's do this. Hey. Wait, what? Uh. Hmm. That was weird. Whatever, let's go. And now, we continue. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, I guess. I don't know, that's probably not the right intro. That is a different thing. <laughs> Welcome to the Adventures of Waffles. This is episode 11. I might change that intro, but hey, if it's still there, you hear all the weirdness that goes through my head. But yeah, you can see we are indeed clearing our way down south of this uh, swamp area. We're clearing our way toward Bone Mass, and I think this is going to be a fun one. There's a lot of this swamp that we just haven't explored yet. We haven't found any turnip seeds, I believe it is. And yeah, we've got a lot to do in this episode, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But as I'm sure you'll notice with the <laughs> last segment of the previous episode, which I also included at the beginning of this episode, just in case you forgot or didn't see it, for some reason, how dare you? Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> we're, we're doing something a little interesting this time. I want to get a little more cinematic, and that won't be a common occurrence, but for the purposes that I have in my mind, I wanted to create that. I, I think it's <laughs> it's pretty fantastic, and we're gonna have some fun with it today. You'll see where that ends up going soon. But as you see here, we're clearing our way down south. We're seeing what we can find in the swamp. We haven't explored too much of it because the 1.5 times resource modifier that I got with the public test beta, it does make it so that I don't have to do a massive amount of exploring, it seems. But we've got a lot of skeletons to kill, we've got a lot of boys, a lot of guys to kill, and the Frostner is doing such a great job. And I couldn't personally decide on a name, so I polled my audience. I polled all of you, and honestly, I did not expect these results. I think it's a good result, but I thought for sure Ego would win resoundingly, but no, I was wrong. I even thought Waffleneer had a great chance, but no. Almost 200 of you have voted, and the official name is the Frost Waffle. I think it's a great option because it kind of, it just, it's appropriate. It, it follows the, the theme of the channel. It's silly, it's functional, and it just works. Definitely part of the family. And hey, look, some turnip seeds. But yeah, the Frost Waffle is handling this just fine because that's kind of what it's made for. I mean, I know it's primarily made for the mountains, but you get silver after you're already pretty much done with the swamps. I know you can always go back, but yeah, you unlock something that's super effective against undead creatures after you're pretty much done with those undead creatures. And that's just a little silly, but I wanted a portal home. I wanted to plant all these turnips and we have all of these carrots that I've just been completely neglecting because I already have multiple stacks of 50. So I plant the turnips and I can't get these onions yet, but we're moving back. We're heading back home and by home, I'm to the swamps. We're continuing our mission to see if we can find bone mass. And we've got just, uh, you know, the swamp. It's not really that eventful. I, these certlings need to go bye-bye. Uh, I have no stamina, but it's okay. Certlings, they just pop. The frost waffle just makes them pop with pretty much just one hit, if I can actually hit them. But I actually have to hit them with my hammer. But <laughs> it's a great weapon. It's doing a good job. We're continuing, we're moving, we're finding a whole lot more crypts, and I see that little thing down there. A one-star Draugr Archer thinks that it has to take me out? No? I don't know what you were thinking there. And I get hit from the back <laughs> by another archer we'll deal with later. But for now, we are poisoned, but we're okay. Everything's fine. And this area right here, it appears I've reached the bottom of this swamp. So it is not connected to bone mass. We're gonna have to make our way back up to the portal and we're going to take the boat but we gotta make our way up that way. So we might as well reveal the whole edge of this swamp. So, you know, these Draugr just, oh man, that glorious sweep. I, I'm, I'm absolutely loving the Frost Waffle. It wasn't necessarily a required upgrade, but it's just so handy and I love it. It's fantastic. Another Draugr to take out and it's just a one swipe. We're, we're fantastic, we're doing great. This little, uh, this, this, uh, I don't know what you call it. This, I guess, guard tower? This is kind of like a sentry post guard tower. The, the terrain makes it awkward, and I have no stamina, so I can't jump onto these stairs. And, okay, well, 
Ah, come on. All right, we're good. We're on the top of the stairs. Now we can actually fight these guys, or at least the one that didn't fall over. Oh, okay, they're both down there. But we got a little spawn around here. A Draugr Elite has joined the party, but the Frost Waffle can handle it. Of course it can, because we are OP. AF, I guess. <laughs> nothing up here. I don't know what's going on. It's just a regular sentry post. Nothing nothing to see here. So I move back to this familiar area. I don't know if you'll recall, but this is the original landing that I did when I first discovered this swamp. I want to take it over. I decide that this is my stand. I need to retake this space right here. So I take out the leeches. I take out as many of the enemies that I possibly can. These leeches, they're still a... I, I'm a assuming they're still the same ones that I got attacked by. And hey, look, we've got another skeleton. We've got another Draugr. I wildly swing, but we're okay. We pop some enemies in their face and we're doing great. We have a foot, well, okay, maybe not yet. I was gonna say, we have taken this place over, but no, we still have an archer over here to take care of. It just, it does not want me to own this territory. But hey, Frost Waffles got this, and now I think we've accomplished our mission. This little sandbar is officially ours. We have redeemed ourselves. We are now worthy of this glorious little space. Okay, maybe not, not so much. Come on, come on, I was celebrating. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, yeah, we did take over that sandbar. I thought that was pretty satisfying. I didn't really think about going back there, but we made it. We did it. And I was going to go home and sleep, but there are enemies nearby. Of course there are enemies nearby. Hey, Grayling, all right, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, just, okay, well, maybe it's not just one Grayling. It's more. We've got some Grey Dwarves over here, and they just, they, they're trying to, they're trying to join the party, but no, I'm sorry. I'm not inviting guests at this moment. You are not on the list. You shall not pass go. Glorious, glorious night, by the way. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, clear night. But we're going to do a little bit of, you know, basic homemaking. Our torches have been neglected, so we're going to add some resin to them. That'll be great. And I think we're making pretty good progress. This is, it's a nice home. I think it looks pretty good. But after that, we're going to sleep a little bit. We're going to sleep off the uh, entrails that we have all over our face at this point. <laughs> but now we're back home. We're taking the boat and we are going to go to the appropriate swamp with the boat because the other one was not, it was not landlocked. I thought for sure it was, but no, we need to take the boat to this next one. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And in hindsight, I could have broken the boat, taken it to the portal at the swamp and just gone south. But no, I really enjoy the sailing in this game, and I did decide to enable some dev commands so I could get these beautiful cinematic shots. And at first I was really apprehensive about doing this, because if you go into free fly mode uh, when you're still controlling your character, I don't know, while it's on a boat, it's, it's okay. It turns out it's perfectly fine, and man. These drone shots are gorgeous. I have a drone in real life, I love photography, and these are the kind of shots that you can get. It's just so much fun, and I am really proud of these shots. Even through the janky camera movements, they're gorgeous. But look at that. We've got a beachhead. We have arrived at our destination, just like the GPS said. <laughs> we're going to, well, I mean, I guess we're fine. We can just mark our boat, and we can uh, move move forward. Let's do this. We don't really need to go home. We got a rest of bonus. We're okay. We can make our way toward Bone Mass. And I'm pretty pleased to see how close Bone Mass is to the actual, the boat right here. We landed quite nicely in a good spot. We do have some enemies to kill, but these skeletons pop with one hit of the Frost Waffle. It's no problem. Another blob down, and this Draugr right here. Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. You are dead. And we've got some more enemies, of course. They're not going to go down without a fight. I, they really don't want me fighting their their deity, I guess. Their their boss. Their, their big boss man. And this guy right here, I just got a little lazy. So I was just kind of slowly walking up to him. But I break out the at gear because the at gear just still needs some love. We haven't seen the at gear in a while, so it deserves a little bit of love. We have a nice, well, <laughs> I was having fun. I decided to ride that great dwarf a little bit. I definitely felt like we were just a little bit OP right now. But we found Bone Mass. We're here and we're going we're gonna to just, you know, say hi. We're going to see what's going on but not before we create a portal. We've got a portal home so we can prepare and we've got to have a portal here just because it's necessary. If we do end up dying, I think we, we want a good easy way back. So yeah, that's what we got to do. So I grab all the stuff that we could possibly need. I update my food, I repair my stuff 
And I mentioned in the last episode, but I want to make a troll cape. The deer hide cape is looking a little bit bleak right now. I want a little pop. I want some color in my life. So the troll cape, it is. I think this cape looks pretty cool, even though it's kind of disheveled. It's not exactly the most beautiful cape in the world, but hey, it's blue and we definitely need to just, uh, just a little pop of color, I think. All right, we're prepared, we're ready. I think we can officially find bone mass. This portal right there will take us straight to it. So let's do this. It's time. Hey, wait. Huh? What the hell was that? Up here. Yeah, it's me, the Waffle Iron. What the? Yeah, I can talk. Where were you going? Uh, I, I was I was just about to fight the boss. Without me? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I have the froster now, but... But that's not fair. I just... Come on, Waffles. The Waffle Batter and the Waffle Beater both got to fight their bosses, and you're just gonna leave me here while you go fight my boss? That's not cool, man. Well, I... I was good to you, wasn't I? Well, yeah, but... Didn't we have fun taking down all those Grey Dwarfs together? Of course we did. And I kind of saved your ass in the swamps many times, didn't I? That's true. I even helped you fight all those wolves in the mountains, even though I knew what you were up to. Yeah. So wouldn't you say I've earned the right to at least ride shotgun in this fight? <sighs> yeah. You're right. I'm sorry, Waffle Iron. You deserve to fight Bone Mass and watch as the life drains from his cold, dead eyes right by my side. You mean it? I do, Waffle Iron. I mean it. Thank you, Waffles. One last ride? One last ride. Clearly I'm having a little too much fun with this series, but indeed I did bring the Waffle Iron for this battle. I think it deserves to fight its respective boss. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But I get some cinematic shots right here and this, this come on, Draugr wants to interrupt me? Come on, let me get some cinematic shots real quick. <laughs> the Waffle Iron deserves to be here and we're going to give it its satisfaction. But we are going to use the Frost Waffle as well because of the super effective nature. But the, at the very least, the Waffle Iron deserves to ride shotgun and it will indeed ride more than shotgun but here we go let's fight bone mass and we're going to preemptively take the green juice the uh poison resistance meat because that's definitely necessary but here we go we are fighting bone mass and i take out the waffle iron i think this is going to be perfectly fine for a melee battle i think we'll be fine we've got poison resistance and we've got some great very effective weapons and i know i know i should have waited for my turnips to sprout but i didn't i'm impatient i definitely would have been better suited with this fight to have better food but hey here we are we're doing the thing we're doing okay these skeletons come on you gotta go you just gotta go. But we're being squirrely. We're doing some good things. I activate the power of Ike Fear because it's necessary. I want stamina. It's, it's kind of a helpful thing. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going okay. It's <laughs> kind of chaotic. We're already low health, and I just I pop a potion. I go ahead and I pop one of the gray juices, and let's do this. Come on, forward roll, and we're gonna slash. We're gonna, not slash, I mean, I guess slam. <laughs> it's okay, we're doing good. The Frost Waffle is handling it, but now we're back to the Waffle Iron. Look at that beautiful shot right there. Oh man, that right there was almost the thumbnail. All those skeletons attacking me while Bone Mass is looming, and I've got my shield and my Waffle Iron up and ready. Oh yeah, I love that little shot right there. But obviously the thumbnail was different because it was brighter, and I think I liked the look. But I just, I love how effective maces are in this fight. Every Everything seems to be super effective and we're, we're doing okay. We're making, we're making do. We're forward rolling. We're slamming into bone masses. Uh, I don't know if he has a groin. I guess it's a stomach. It's his awkward open stomach and we can see all the juices in there and all the bones. It's definitely one of the most um, appealing, physically appealing bosses in Valheim. <laughs> we're doing what we can and man, he's already almost halfway done. At this point, I felt pretty overconfident even though, yeah, I'm taking my time. I am slowly whittling away at its health and yeah, I don't want to get into that puke because, I mean, it'll, it'll still hurt, I think, even though I've got a poison resistance me going but yeah we're doing okay 
I feel appropriately powered, we'll call it properly prepared, PP instead of OP, <laughs> for this fight. We have a weapon that is level 3. It is a little bit... Oh, okay. I guess we're still taking a, a pretty solid amount of damage. So let's, let's uh, shoot some frost arrows at him, because frost is effective against bone mass. And... Yeah, so it was, it was, this is good. This is great. <laughs> Even though Pierce doesn't do a massive amount of damage, we're still, we're still doing some good work because they are frost arrows. And yeah, waffle iron to the chest. Let's, uh, let's get out of this area. Come on, let's uh, get some stamina back as well. All right, we'll, we'll take a little break over here. We've got three blobs incoming, and I think the best weapon to handle it, the Waffle Smasher. But I immediately regret my decision. <laughs> Very low health because the sweep is actually pretty solid on bone mass. It does have a pretty wide, uh, a, big, a big arm, we'll say. And I take out the Waffle Smasher again, and I start slamming because I know the Waffle Smasher is a very slow weapon, but if you've got a lot of enemies that are very weak to blunt damage, it's the right choice, or at least it is a good choice. And yeah, Frost Waffle, come on, we're, we're doing good work here. This is definitely a, a pretty good fight. We're, we're pretty much alone right now, so forward roll into the chest, and let's do some slamming. Get out of the way of that puke. Yeah, okay, I know, you got indigestion. Maybe maybe take some uh, some of that some of that pink stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, no stamina again, and we're very low health. So I need to kite the guys around us over this way, so I can regain some health. Take our time and not get hit. Ideally, not get hit because that would be very very bad. That'd be a little dangerous. So yeah, this skull actually makes a pretty okay. Well, lots of guys over here, and. Frost Waffle makes it easy. <laughs> oh man, I definitely feel very, very satisfied in having chosen this weapon. But yeah, the, the skull right here, it does make a good little little way to kite enemies around it so you can... Oh, okay, get out of here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, despite me trying to be safe, I still get ambushed from the back. That's just the way it goes. And I've got my guard up. We're we're doing a we're doing a little whirly twirly around skull. And yeah, I <laughs> I need to figure out a way to better do my weapon management. Maybe I should have managed it before I actually uh, did this fight because six is a little too far. I'm not really using the ad gear and I'm not using the sledge much, but it's okay. We're gonna manage. We're gonna make do. And man, all these all these guys just one little pop right here. Oh, okay. All right. Bad, bad. Oh, man, I thought for sure I was going to make it this whole fight without dying. But no, as with as the standard goes, we have to die every boss. I don't think that's a law, but it's the law of waffles. And like an idiot, I went through the portal without grabbing what I need. I need a rested bonus. I got overly eager, and yeah, we're we're back though. We're gonna go grab our stuff, even though that skeleton really wanted to not let us do that. Come on, all right, let's go. Naked rescue mission with a whole bunch of poison stuff around. We're okay, we're back in it. We take the poison mead, and we're gonna put our chest on because it just makes sense, even though it doesn't make sense. I should probably start putting the helmet on first because it doesn't reduce your movement speed. But hey, these skeletons, all right, you're, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait, and yeah. <laughs> I was just not really having it with those guys. The skeletons aren't going to do that much damage, and they're not something to worry about. But this guy right here is. This giant bone mass right here. This giant fleshy blob of ooze and garbage. <laughs> Definitely feels like the fully evolved version of a blob. I think that's the final form. <laughs> but yeah, this is, it's its pretty much, it's okay from now on, right? We're okay. He's, he's down at like one-fifth health, and man, look at that beautiful view right there. And by beautiful, I mean disgusting. But that was the thumbnail, if I remember right. But we take out the waffle iron because I think the waffle iron deserves the final slap. And so we're going to do what we can. We need some stamina. Let's do this. Come on. All right. All right. One slash. Okay. We're good. Everything is lovely. Bone mass is down. And okay. Well, I mean, I guess we still have some of the enemies around the area. Let's, let's take them out. All right. You're good. You're done. Okay. Good job, Waffle Iron. I am so incredibly proud of you. But let's grab this trophy. We've got the wishbone. Now let's uh, let's dance. Of course, we have to dance at the altar. Oh man, what a glorious fight that was. 
So I grabbed the portal. We don't need to portal home. And well, I mean, I guess I was going to make my way to the boat, but I guess the waffle iron's not done yet. The waffle iron still has a little bit of fight left because these guys, they really didn't like the fact that I went through their territory to fight bone mass. They don't really want me to leave. They, they want me to stay here and party with them. But again, I'm just not in the partying mood. This is Valheim. This isn't the time nor the place. I take the opportunity with no stamina and awkward jumps to leave. Well, I mean, I guess I still can't because no stamina means that I can't jump into the boat. So yeah, a couple more skeletons down. That deer wanted to come with me, but sorry, I can't take deer on this boat, even though I have space and probably should be able to take those. Uh, yeah, we're backing up. We're doing the beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right, let's head home and we will place this trophy on its appropriate spot but let's enjoy some cinematic, beautiful, gorgeous drone shots that I got while on this trip. Oh man, okay, well not drone just yet, but hey, I love this beautiful night that really quickly became very, very foggy. Come on, what are you doing? world that doesn't happen but here we go here's the drone shots into a thunderstorm i forgot about this thunderstorm this is actually really really cool and the immersion in this game is absolutely incredible i'm still impressed even though the graphics aren't like perfection this isn't cyberpunk <laughs> perfection right uh but it is still gorgeous and the environmental uh i don't know reactions in this game they're fantastic but hey look at that we're back at the home you have arrived at your destination yeah thank you boat all right <laughs> but with a very satisfying and successful mission the waffle iron can be officially retired again thank you for your service I'm glad we gave it the satisfaction of killing its respective boss. It wasn't necessary, but we'll say in the waffle verse, in the, the waffle, in the waffle cinematic universe, it is official. Weapons have a personality and they deserve satisfaction. But look at that. We have officially sacrificed. Oh, hey, come on. Every time, every single time. Come on. All right. Well, Bone Mass's head has been sacrificed to the gods, and now we can take its power. We can take its glorious Bone Massy power, and this is definitely the last power that I'll ever really use. A motor comes in handy maybe here and there, but I'm too lazy to go grab it. Pretty much the same thing with the Elder's power. Yeah, handy, but having to go all the way and grab it, I could have already gotten the treats by then. I don't know. That's my thought, but let's grab these turnips right here. And we can now make the spice rack. So let's just not acknowledge the fact that we definitely should have done this before fighting Bone Mass. We just, that did not happen. Let's just ignore that fact. <laughs> I wanted to find a good spot for this because it's a little precarious. It has to have a little hanging spot right there. And I think this little crafting nook over on the right, it just, it looks good. But we can get all that good stuff and we can place down the fermenter again in a really appropriate spot right here. I think this is a, a good spot, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this other space on the left of it, but it'll be good. But now we can make a whole lot more stuff, and we just unlocked sausages, we unlocked the muck shake, and we unlocked a whole bunch of good stuff. And well, maybe I guess not that many things, but enough to really upgrade our food game. And the muck shake, definitely one of the most delicious looking foods in the game, and that's it. If you had fun in this episode, please let me know. I'm having way too much fun with this still. As you can tell with the weird segments and the cinematography, it's just a lot of fun. So if you're still enjoying this, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it, and join the Discord. I did also enable memberships on the page, so if you want to join, you can if you want to support the channel, but feel no pressure to do that whatsoever. It does get you access to the Valheim server that I created, and I will eventually open it up to more than just members because I understand it's not necessarily something everybody wants to do, but I'm not doing that just yet. I appreciate your patience. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.